All right, so we're gonna do a walk through Maywood. Here's the parking lot, as you can see. And then we enter the realm through right here. Okay, just past the parking lot, you'll find graveyard number one right here. It is the closest graveyard to the battle arena, which we'll go over in a second. Okay, and there's a the graveyard. Here we have the battle arena. Very large area where we do a lot of our combat. Across the way over there, that's the Great Plains in those zones. Okay, on the far side of the arena, again, you'll see the Great Plains over there. The first two zones over here in the pine wooded area is one zone. And then this wooded area is a second zone. This is more of a trade and commerce area, a general area around the arena. These stones don't really signify anything at this time. Moving along to the back side of the arena, there is the skill center in the back, as well as the back side of the first zone. The wire wheels and other items here really aren't significant unless it's a quest or some other item. Over here we have the tribal watchtower and you can see where we were over there back side of the arena and skill center and this is more of the tribal style watchtower this watchtower does have an opening through the bottom and it's really the only way to get into this watchtower um, a lot of fun some quests are over at this area and then we come to the back side of the realm where the, uh, the limit is, that field is no longer in the realm. So we're gonna take a walk down in through the realm some more. Now before we go any further, there is a back stretch that usually goes, that it takes you pretty much all the way through zone one and two. It's a trail that zigzags throughout the back side of the property through the realm. So it's kind of a, if you need to get Quickly and stealthily from one place to the next, the back road here is typically the way to do it. The fork in the road here, we're gonna go down the back side. That's gonna lead over to the commerce area and back to the arena and parking lot and graveyard number one. Okay, so we walk the back trail and over here we have the second watchtower, which is more of a climb tower. And we're on the back side of what is currently San Dimas and then the back side of the trail again. So we're gonna walk into San Dimas and take a look around. Okay, as we come up through San Dimas, you'll notice a bunch of structures, uh, homemade shelters, uh, lots of area in San Dimas. Uh, it's pretty much signified by the trail and there's no real set boundaries, so they're kind of confrontational, which is typically how we design zones to not put a actual physical pinpoint on each zone so you can claim more land or get land taken away from you okay again another structure back side of San Dimas there's a lot of area for uh, battles but there's also a lot of sensitive areas that we try to stay off of in this in this uh, big zone again this zone can be sweep swept by other guilds currently Silver Edge Guild control San Dimas. If another guild does take a zone by meeting the requirements set in the playbook, um, they can also rename it after certain criteria are met. Okay, we are now on the back side of San Dimas where we just were. This is kind of the edge of San Dimas. It does have an overlook on it. And there's a back path leading to the stairs. And that pathway can be a quick escape route in the event that you're being attacked or your group is being backed into a corner. Okay, so on the back side of San Dimas, again, we're going through the hiking trail uh, that leads to the, the Great Steps. And there's the back trail um, that'll lead you to the arena without going through San Dimas. And then we'll go to the Great, the great Steps. All right, back side of the, uh, the Great Steps now. As you can see, it's a very large step area that leads us down to the flats. Lots of battles happen here, lots of quest items are here, and lots of fun. Okay, bottom of the Great Steps, 
leading you into the flat zones. You have Kashyyyk over there. You have the second zone over here, which is uh, the end of the realm, unclaimed currently at the time of this video. And uh, this path over here is going to lead you all the way around the backside. These paths over here are going to get you into Kashyyyk and to the second graveyard and ancient battleground. So we're going to go around the outside. All right, again, heading into the, I believe this is zone seven, turning around the bend and heading to the back side right by the Pigeon River. A lot of monsters tend to hang out here and I've heard that there's quite a few undead in this area as well. Okay, we're in the back side of zone seven and you can see there's the Pigeon River and some quest items typically are back here. Again, monsters, undead. Um, there's some higher level monsters back here a lot of times. So we'll keep walking over by Kashyyyk. We're out of the backside now. And again, more river foliage. And heading up to the two ponds. The ancient battlegrounds, Kashyyyk. All right, and here we come up out of zone seven. Getting closer to Kashyyyk. Pond number one right here. And you got the upper part of the flats, Pigeon River, and then across the river is the expansion zone, which we haven't played in yet because we don't uh, we don't have the need to utilize that part of the realm until there's more people. All right, now we are at the second pond between there and Kashyyyk. And we'll be heading over here to the ancient battlegrounds. Okay, so once again, there's the, uh, the two ponds. The ancient battlegrounds is this way. Over here is the backside ledge of San Dimas. The, out, the uh, lookout tower. And the back trails that lead to the Great Steps. There's lots and lots and lots of wildlife. Herds of deer. Uh, just tons of wildlife here, and it's a lot of fun to play in. Okay, we are now in the ancient battle zone, the ancient battlegrounds, I should say, uh, where there's a little stage or fighting area besides the large platform from days past. And then this right here is graveyard number two. So this is the graveyard of the flat area. And we got San Dimas up top. Trails between San Dimas and Kashyyyk. And then a path that leads down to the, the Great Bridge and the other zones. So let's walk down here. All right, you may be able to miss a lot of the confrontation out of San Dimas if you take the road, the path, the trail, Next to the ridge, next to the river, uh, but be cautious going into the uh, second graveyard to respawn, as it can uh, present some dangers from the guild members in Kashyyyk called Blood. Uh, it's called Bloodbath and Beyond. Up there, you see the Great Hall, which we'll get to in a little while. And then also the Great Bridge. And then over here is the Expansion Zone. Which offers just about as much area as we're covering in this video. Here we have a very unique tree that seems to have been plagued by undead. It has many strange growths coming out of it. And it can be a, a plagueous area. If that is even a word. I don't think it is. I'm making stuff up as I go. The Great Hall is up here, as well as the wells, the old wells, which are possible mines, um, and there's areas to explore in there. Uh, dangerous, but yet yeah, fun. Alright, here we have one of the natural flowing springs. Uh, there's three springs here in the realm of Maywood. You can see the tree, 
We're walking up. Great place to get some uh, refreshing natural spring water as well as um, getting to the bridge, which oftentimes has bridge keepers on it. And it also brings us up. This trail goes up and around to uh, one trail goes north or up west to the the Great Hall and then the other one goes over to zone 5 which is now kebab yes kebab um, a rather friendly area run by hobbits and we'll get over there in a second okay once again we have the uh, the Great Bridge <clears throat> the Pigeon River and the crossroads that lead up to the Great Hall and over to Zone 5 Kebab led by the men of the West. Okay, the second divide here leads to a path which follows the river and actually leaves the realm. This path leading up the hill is leading us into Kebab which is just about where we are. Again, we don't have strict zone boundaries. The guilds fight over those as a way to introduce some confrontation. It's a good thing to battle over just like many of us did in real life. Another path leading up to the Great Hall. And we'll head up to the third graveyard. Here we have a relatively new path that just opened up that leads to the bottom it's the bottom trail for kebab and as we keep climbing the hill we'll find the third graveyard. Okay we just climbed the hill now we're in kebab there's a delightful area for battles gatherings and that sort of thing and we have graveyard number three, outlined by this stone structure here. It's on the back side of the Great Plains. There are paths leading to the Great Plains in the back side of Kebab, as well as paths that lead us to the Altar of Storms, the parking lot, and the Great Hall. All right, on the back side of just leaving Kebab now. Again, we got the pathway that leads over to the Great Hall, the bridge, one of, uh, one of two bathrooms, and then we have the Altar of Storms, which you can see in another video. It's a place where the elders or guilds uh, group up, handle disputes, uh, make official admin claims for zone sweeps, um, pretty much any official business gets held at the Altar of Storms. Now, as you can imagine, in the summertime, when all the vegetation is at max growth, the gardens, um, all the shrubbery, all the new plants are laid out. So again, try to stay on the paths if you can, um, and avoid any vegetation as Again, we want to protect this realm so we don't lose it. In this realm, you'll notice a lot of signage for different types of uh, plants and wildlife. And it's a great place to learn while you're gaming. Um, there is another meeting place over at the back side of the Great Hall, as well as some battleground area. That's not, while it's not an official battlegrounds, it serves as a nice open area to uh, get your game on. And there's a the parking lot there. We'll head over by the Great Hall and show you where the bathrooms and uh, the secondary sign-up area is. The parking lot, which is off, uh, it's out of the realm, so if you're fighting in the parking lot, you may be asked to leave or you'll lose some XP. It's dangerous to be doing our sport on a uh, flat, hard, and very, very grippy surface. Uh, ankle and leg injuries could result. Just outside of the uh, Hummingbird Garden is the uh, 
outside restroom in the event that the Great Hall is not open. The Great Hall is run by volunteers and even though the signs that are posted have it open every day, uh, extreme weather or staffing problems could have it closed. In the Great Hall there are uh, restrooms, there's a water fountain, um, there's meeting areas and that sort of thing. We typically call the Great Hall out of play so there's no horsing around in the actual hall and you can also go past the hall here and get into uh, San Dimas and the uh, Kashyyyk in the lower part of the, the realm. We prefer that if you are in the realm and you want to get from say Kebab or the Great Plains over to San Dimas or Kashyyyk that you take the back side, uh, the back side um, of the Great Hall so you're not on the concrete, blacktop or any other out of bound area. All right, the back side of the Great Hall, you can see that there are some resting areas, uh, some places to grill out, and um, the back paths that lead down to the flats. And if you take this path up here, you will get into San Dimas. Uh, there are paths that go around the, the Great Hall, which is the ones we want you to use if you're trying to get from one side of the realm to the other. As we head up into San Dimas, you'll notice another structure here called the Sugar House. And that is actually what it sounds like. It actually is there to produce their own uh, maple syrup. San Dimas is actually a maple forest. And in the spring when the syrup is running, or when the, the maple's running, the sugar water is running basically, uh, they have some uh, really huge events here. And it's really nice. You will see that this area is uh, used by other organizations um, and schools and it's a great place. Typically when we hold our events we hold them on Sundays so there's really not as many people here. Okay we just came up the path and we're back into San Dimas. You'll see the totem pole, the San Dimas meeting area where you'll typically find members of the Silver Edge Guild and also other structures that are man-made. Now you may have noticed quite a few uh, fire pits in the realm and although they're set up like you could just haul some wood and start a fire, uh, those fire pits are not to be used uh, unless it's a special event and we have a permit to do so. This is in the city of Sheboygan. It is the largest park in Sheboygan and one of the least visited actually because it is quite a ways out of the city but um, you are not allowed to build or construct any fires unless we're doing uh, some overnight games some weekend games or uh, other types of events that uh, give us the a-ok -okay to do a to do a uh, a event with fire as you can see this is a very large area it's 136 acres it's uh, a ton of fun, tons of elevation changes, lots of natural features, and uh, we are very, very proud of what we have here with the Wisconsin Live Action Role Playing Association. If you want, we do have a map that follows this uh, tour, and that map is also a printable map, which constantly changes um, due to gameplay, names changing and that sort of thing. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a, a jingle. We love to see you at our events that are held uh, every month, um, except the extremely cold months. And we have tons and tons of events. So thanks for watching.